as Ukraine dominates the news. What does not but ought to is Afghanistan, which the US pounded for nearly 20 years, preceded by the erstwhile Soviet Union, which took its turn for a decade from 1979 to 1989. After the inept US withdrawal a little over eight months ago, Afghanistan has fallen off the headlines in America and elsewhere even while the Taliban is back to its old medieval cruel ways. The prominent Afghan women's rights activist and journalist Mahbuba Siraj spoke to my Shah report from Kabul about her country's return to barbarism. Her comments were at once angry and full of anguish, including specifically about the United States and President Joe Biden. She also had strong words about India's hands-off policy towards Afghanistan. Mahbuba Siraj. Okay, first of all, uh, thank you for your time as always. Uh, you're always generous with me and I greatly appreciate that. I did not hear that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I did not hear it. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's let's do an interview like this. No one hears it. <laughs> You're very welcome. It's been eight months since the Taliban took over. Yeah. What is what has life been like under them? Is it uh, everything that they advertised, or you think there is any possibility of good things happening? Um, the way I look at it now, no, there is not a possibility of anything good happening. I'm sorry to say, no, no, really. And I, and I, you know, and I don't want to be the bearer of bad news and I don't want to be the pessimist over here and telling that the world is going to fall on top of our heads and, and, and nothing like that. But the world is really falling on top of our heads, really, literally. Oh, oh literally. really? Uh, so in, no, in terms things, of things are not, are not looking right. In terms, of in terms of specifics, what kind of problems would you like to point out? Because they are back to their draconian medieval ways. Yeah, that's it. You know, we are, we are, we are going backwards. We are going continuously backwards. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> now, now, you know, it's very funny. Now I'm afraid to even talk because, because you know, I, I just suddenly remember that, for God's sakes, we are an Islamic country. We were always an Islamic country. You know, I lived in Islamic country all of my life. Right. And there are tons of other Islamic countries all around me. And none of them are scared to talk about music, for example. Right now, I just wanted to say, you know how much I miss hearing music? And I kind of, and I kind of held myself back oh. because I thought, oh, maybe, maybe I'm saying something really terrible. You know, maybe I should not be saying this. Yeah, but well, no, of course yeah. Yeah, in, in, the, in the privacy of your home. Yes, yes. You know, right now I was going. I was just kind of holding myself back and saying, "Oh my gosh, well, I, I shouldn't be talking about something like that." You know, but I really do miss music. Yeah. We all do. I miss laughter. I miss. I miss seeing happiness in the eyes of the people. I miss. I miss. I miss my Afghanistan. I miss my Kabul. I really miss it. I really miss it. I can't. I can't. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I miss it so much. No, I you can know, emphasize like, with you, but I, what is the way out? You think is there because they are there for years now. <laughs> They're there forever. I don't know. I don't know if they, they can't be here like this. You know. Hmm. No, Mr. Chaya, they cannot be here like this. If they if they continue doing this, if they are making me feel like this, you know, yeah. and I happen to be a very, uh, you know, although I am I'm, I'm maybe a kind of a fiery human being when it comes to my opinions and things, but I'm at the same time I'm an extremely I have a very moderate mind and I don't I don't go to the extremes of anything. Right. And if they're doing this, this is not right. This is not yes. this is not this is not sustainable. This is not good for the people. This is not right for Afghanistan. This is not the way to go. This is not the way to go. They keep on beating us all the time. Yeah. I'm sick of beating. Why are we getting beatings? And then because they are beating us, now everybody in the world is treating Afghans by beating them. They are crossing the borders, go to Iran, and Iranians are beating them. I see. They're going to Pakistan and Pakistanis are beating them. What on earth is happening to my people? 
I, I mean, I, I'm frankly at a loss. I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, now, that, now that you mentioned that someone like you was losing hope, I was reading the case of uh, Zarifa Ghaffari, uh, who has had to leave Afghanistan amid serious threats to her life. Uh, how, 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 how is it that someone like you is managing to stay on? Yeah, I mean, I, I am, I'm staying on because, because, because the love that I have, the, the, the still the hope that I have, I think is bigger. Even now, it's becoming bigger than me. I see. Bigger than everything that I see around me. Bigger of all, all of the 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 uh, how shall I say all of the hurt that I'm feeling, all of the pain that I'm feeling. It's bigger than that, and thank God it is bigger than that, because you know I, I really want to hang in here and I really want to see a difference. But this is not going to. This is not right. Yeah. This is really not right. The way the world is treating my people, the way the way the hunger here, the lack of money, and. And in, 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 in nations is here, the international community is here, but even they are, I don't know what they are doing and, and I don't know who is doing what to whom and why is this whole thing happened like this. Mm. We are so badly sold out, Mr. Chaya. We are, mm. I feel so betrayed and really sold out, really. Yeah. You know, that, that brings me everything, to the Everything I believed in was sold out. What the, I mean, we are sold out. We are it. I mean, yeah. even the ones that they are getting out of Afghanistan, going anywhere, they can't, they can't even be looked after properly somewhere in the other part of the world. Yeah. And yeah. and and you know, and I'm so sorry about what is happening in Ukraine. You know, with all of the the miseries and there, dear God, is horrible. It is horrible in a way. It kind of reminds me of Afghanistan. Believe it or not, I don't exactly. know why. Exactly. No, it, it does. I, does. I can see that. Yeah, it does remind me of Afghanistan of 1978 for some reason. And and. Uh, in my heart, really, really believes for them. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, at least you know, they, 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 their people are looked upon as 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 proper human beings by the rest right. of the world. For God's sakes, I mean, my people are not even that. I mean, this is this is like ridiculous. You know, it's just like uh, why why is it such a difference the way the world is is treating us. I mean, I mean, they should be angry at Russia, but us, what happened to Afghanistan is the doing of the United States mm -hmm. and the world. Dear God, we are not, we are not blind. We are not uh, stupid not to know. This is a fact. This is where they put us. We're not yeah. supposed to be here, Mr. Chaya, not really. I really understand. Not. You know, you think know, about now this. Uh, now I was saying, think about this. For 20 years, you were founded by the Americans. And for ten yeah. years you were founded by the Soviets. Yes. And where has where has that left you? You know, it, it, it's 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 killed us. It's destroying us. It's destroying this magnificent country. It's yeah. destroying this magnificent people. It's really destroying us, Mr. Chaya. This is yeah. this is not a joke anymore. Yeah. You know, this is not something to be taken lightly. Truly, we are really on the verge of a civil civil war again. Does the world know that? No, really I think, no the uh, uh, Afghanistan, is is, right uh, Afghanistan has fallen off the headlines completely. I I, I didn't get that question. No, I, I said Afghanistan has completely fallen off the headlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afghanistan is, is just is just falling into pieces. It really yeah. is, in every sense of the word. Really. I mean, so, I mean, with the with the help of the international community and and the you know and thanks to them, uh, you know, a, a huge disaster, a famine, was stopped this this winter, this past winter. But right. now, now there is going to be another season coming. So, so again, it's like putting those little band aids on the gushing wounds, and it just won't help. It just won't help. And I and I and I and I really I really don't know what else we can do. Uh, what it should be happening, uh, what is what is what are the possibilities? Um, I feel I feel like so so let down and so so let down, really. Yeah. And and, uh, have... and the things that are happening, you know, the girls are being put in prison right now. I I heard that the ten women that they were in Bombion and they were, you know, um, 
in one of the the programs that the Taliban arranged in Bamiyan, which they were doing some publicity for 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 themselves and for whatever, and 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 the, and the ladies in Bamiyan, the students, they really got very upset about that. So they went and they tore all of the uh, all of the uh, you know the, the banners and things, and now mm -hmm. and now they have gone up and they put ten of them in prison, and God only knows what they are going to do to them. God only knows what they are going to do. To them. Have you, and, and, have and, you and, had and, any and, contacts with the Taliban at all? Well, you know, when we when we went to um, to um, Norway, I was amongst the people that went to Norway also. I don't know if you and I, we talked about that or not. Afterwards. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. So, uh, yeah, so I, I was in Norway and I was with a group of Afghan civil society that were there in Norway. And we uh, we went there and we talked with the Taliban, you know, the, the, the representatives of the government that were there. And we actually came up with a, with a, you know, with a roadmap. And one of the things on that roadmap of ours was that we were going to, when we all come back to Kabul, we were going to see each other one more time in Afghanistan. You know, the, mm. the civil society people, the women and the Taliban, we are going to sit down and talk again. And that was something that was, you know, one of the promises that actually was given to us was that by the government. And, uh, and and since we have come back, no matter how much we've tried, you know, the Taliban don't want to see us. So I see. So I don't know. Because they think they think we might be talking only about schools. Okay. <laughs> we are going to be talking about schools, but you know, schools are not the only thing that we'll be talking about. Schools are yeah. not the only problem that Afghanistan has, the lack of it or the fact that there are no schools for girls. Right. There are so many other things that are so wrong in here. We were going to talk about all of that with the Taliban. But if this is the way there's going to be, you know, that we are going to be treated, uh, I don't know. I don't know what is going to be happening. But what, no, what the, will it the, be in the, the way you are describing is it? Yeah. Yeah, no, the way you are describing it, it sounds to me like a complete dead end. What I'm describing? No, it sounds as if there is, it's a dead end. There is no way out, it seems. No, I, the, the way it looks, yeah, it looks like there is no way out. Really. I see. It looks like there's no way. There's no way out. I, I don't know. Where is the way out? They have to, that, that, that's in the hands of the Taliban. They have to come up and, and, and show it to the world and show it to the people of Afghanistan, <clears throat> not only to their own little group, but to all of us. Right. You know, what is what is their way out? What is their roadmap? What do they want to do? You know, they really they really have to involve us. You know, <laughs> what are they doing? They are fixing the country for whom? For us? No, we don't, we don't want it to be get fixed like this. What is it? Yeah. Is getting fixed or whatever it is happening? We want to be involved in it for God's sakes. You know, talk to us. We are, we are here. Let's let's talk. Let's get it together. Let's let's fix it. Now the women can't move from one place to another. Mm. They cannot travel. They cannot go far. They cannot. They have to have a mahram. So where am I going to find a mahram? I don't have a husband. Right. What am I supposed to do? You know, and I'm planning to take a trip. So I'm a seventy-four-year-old woman. So what am I supposed to do? Get a, get a, or other seventy-four or seventy-five-year-old woman, or or sixty or sixty-five, or young. When they yeah. when they you know when they don't have a man, they don't have a man. That's it. Shall we go and buy one or what? So what? So tell me something. Uh, since you don't have a maram, uh, a sort of a male guardian, right? Uh, you are essentially confined to your home, is it? Yes, that's the, that's the idea. That's the name of the game. The name of the game is exactly that. That if, if we don't have a mahram, we are we are tied to our homes, to our four walls, because we cannot get out. Because if we do, if one of those guys, you know, from vice and virtue are on the street, and the vice and virtue guys finds us, he's going to beat us to death in the middle of the street, and then God only knows what else they're going to do. And then in a government that has given all of their rights in the hands of vice and virtue. I see. Is this Islam? Islam is not supposed to be this. Islam is a kind religion, for God's sakes. It's a right religion. What is wrong? How is it... Islam that you start beating yeah. everybody, beating, 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 beating. You cannot be beating everybody all the time. How you is beating it... everybody. 
But how it's is it that they are? No, I, I'm saying how is it that they are able to sell their version of Islam so successfully? Uh, I, I didn't hear anything on this. No, one. This, no, this no, question of yours, I didn't. No, I'm saying how is it that the Taliban is able to sell their version of Islam so successfully? Their version. This is this is not any version of Islam. This is this is like. This is, I don't even want to, I don't even want to, you know, really, I don't even want to connect it in any way, shape or form to Islam, truly. Hmm. Not the Islam that I know. This is not. Why, why, why should we even, you know, why should, why is it supposed to be like this? It is not. This is a this is a very bad wrong interpretation of Islam, and this is a very very bad picture of Islam that we are showing in the world. Yeah. This is this is something that we are doing so against this religion. This is this is not right. This is not right. right. Uh, do, do, you, do you would you like to comment on the stark contrast between the way the West has work, uh, rallied around Ukrainians? and essentially just completely disregarded the Afghans. Completely, completely. Because, you know, maybe that's why these people are beating us morning to night, because maybe that's who we've become, who we have become, this is who we are. We really don't have any value to the world, nor to ourselves, nor to anybody. This is, maybe this is what it is, unfortunately. Yeah. This is why, this is why we are being so disregarded like that. I mean, I mean, I mean, President uh, Biden almost cried, you know, about Ukraine. I mean, the man was literally in tears about what is happening in Ukraine. And then what he has done to this country and all of their parties and whoever the, in the world that they have done, nobody, nobody even dropped one tear about it. Right. No, nobody, nobody, nobody feels any anything bad about it. Nobody thinks that they have done something really, really atrocious, you know, about uh, towards the people of Afghanistan. Nobody. Nobody talks about it. And, and and I'm sure now that I'm talking, I'm going to become a persona non grata as of tomorrow, like nobody's business. I know mm. that. No, hope but, not. Hope not. No, truly, but, but, but what am I supposed to do? I have to say it. Yeah. Somebody has got to say it, Mr. Chaya. Somebody yeah. has got to say it. If that's supposed to be Mabuba Saraj, then hey, there it yeah. goes. Right. Uh, because... Uh, on, on a different on a different note, do you think there is anything a country like India can do to improve the situation at least somewhat? Now, you know, talk about India. Look at the way India is behaving. India is sitting somewhere, you know, kind of closing their eyes, closing their ears, and closing their mouth. Don't hear, don't see, don't talk. Is that what it's supposed to be? Is that the new philosophy? With the world falling apart around you, and India is sitting, you know, having that, you know, uh, no, no uh, eyes and the mouth and the ears, and, and it's like it's like this is it, and and nobody's doing anything about it. They, India has not done anything. They have not even raised their voices. They have not even said anything. They, they, they nothing, nothing. Like, like th this whole thing that is happening is happening somewhere in another corner of the world. It has nothing to do with India. Okay, wonderful. Beautiful. That's that's also one way of looking at it. Why not? Yeah. Because yeah. because you know the leaders of the world can do that, so they're doing it. Yeah. No, I, I'm think, left. I'm left rather depressed by what you're telling me. No, I'm sorry. Is the truth? Is the no, truth? No, I, I, truth? I, I understand. No, I understand. But it, it's really? it's so tragic. I was that... I was I was so really hopeful with India. I really, although I know that in, in you know uh, uh, as far as the the the, uh, the background of the way they they they, they behaved before, mm -hmm. you know, they they do have a way of kind of a kind of a standoffish type of a situation. But like this, no, I really did not think it was going to come to this. I mean, they don't want to get involved because of Pakistan or whatever. But for God's sakes, Afghanistan was a was a country was your friend. Remember? Yeah. They did a lot. They spent a lot of money. They spent a lot of effort. They spent. They did a whole lot of things for Afghanistan. What happened? Now we are nothing. But do, do you do you do you think it's peculiar to this government, or you think as a, as a as a rule India has changed? Well, you know, that is, I really, <laughs> I really don't want to talk about the Indian policy at this point. Um, 
because there, there are some of the things that, you know, I don't know how right or how wrong it is for India, I'm sure. I'm sure mm-hmm. there's a lot of people in India that they don't really agree with the way things are happening. But then yeah. that's, you know, right. I wish it wasn't like this. I wish I wish Mr. Modi did not take this this uh, this route. I really yeah. I really was wishing he wouldn't, but he did. So that's true. Yeah. Uh, that's, what that's his... what what about the role China might be playing in Afghanistan right now? Yeah. Oh. The role of China. The rules of China is very, is very, is very clear. China wants what, what is at, what is in our underground. And China right. is going to get that. They couldn't care less about anything else. Nothing. They couldn't care less. They, it's just, it's just not in their, in their. That's not the way, the way they, they operate. They operate in an entirely different, different motto, and, and they are going according to that. And, and, and they haven't, they haven't deviated from that. And I think that I, right now I say, well, you know, at least you're, you're, you're really, um, you know, steadfast on what you are doing, and your policies. So yeah, China is doing what China has always done. China wants what is underneath Afghanistan. They're going to get it. So yeah. Right. Right. Fine. So at this stage, do you see any allies at all that can moderate the Taliban stranglehold? My hope was the Islamic countries. I see. My hope was with Turkey. My hope was with Qatar. My hope was with Indonesia. My hope was with Pakistan. But although they are, I don't know what kind of a neighbor they are. My hope is with Iran. But Forget about Iran and Pakistan. Iran and Pakistan are sitting, you know, to do to do damage in, in this part of the world. So I don't know what, what is their gain. They are not being very clever about it. But I thought, you know, these other countries might, you know, Indonesia, you know, especially in in in, in Qatar and in, in Turkey. Uh, but but you know they are not they are not doing anything. They have they've come up with some kind of an agreement with the Taliban. So right now at the Kabul airport there's the there are the, the, the Turkish soldiers as well as the, uh, the Qatari soldiers there. So they've brought their soldiers on our soil. But uh, what else is happening? I have no idea. Um whether they're going to be talking to them or they're going to be no and, and maybe not. I don't know. Yeah you know it, it is it is stunning to to think that you live in a country which has absolutely no international value as a country as well as human beings. It's a country of, of what? No, I'm saying uh, to, to think that you are in a country wh- which has no international value anymore and its people have, have been so devalued for so long now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you know what that, that, that phrase does to me? Hmm. For a for a person like me who loves Afghanistan so much, I just want to scream. I yeah. want to scream from the top of my head and say, "How dare you did that to us!" Really, yeah, makes me feel personally so hurt. My heart hurts when yeah. I hear that. Well, my heart hurts. no, I'm. Uh, uh... At a personal level, I wish I could do something for uh, your country and you. Uh, I mean, I feel really tragic. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Uh, I've been planning for a while. Uh, and if, if uh, I mean, hang in there is all that one can say, but it sounds so superficial. You know, I, I was I was hoping, you know, as I t- told you once before that, you know, let's wait until I have, you know, have some good things to tell you. And then I was going to be, you know, I really, yeah. really thought that next time when you and I, we talk, it was yeah. going to be some good things I was going to tell you about. And I'm so sorry there isn't, there's just, it's just a whole lot of even bad things, worse things that are, but you know, but you are, you have always, always been supporting me in this area. And thank you. I really, no, no, I really no, cannot it, tell likewise, you I, no, no, I really regard your work as important and uh, it takes a lot of uh, gut for you to stay on. Thank you. As far as the as far as the hope part of it is concerned, I really am working on myself, and I'm and I'm and I'm giving that hope to a lot of people around me all the time. That I hasn't stopped. But you know, but there is a time when I have to talk about the reality of things the way they really are. And right now, I thought it's that time that I should say that.
This is this is how the reality really is in this country. The yeah. fact that some of us, you know, are trying to hold on to to it and for the sake of others and sake of the you know the young generation, sake of the men and women of this country, especially the women. Uh, that's a different story. That I honestly, uh, it has become my personal battle every single day. That yeah. I I do wake up in the morning and I try to have that that strength and that you know and that. Um, how shall I say, and, and that enthusiasm to kind of uh, have it for life and for for possibilities in the future. Because you know, I'm a I'm a believer. So believers usually in the world they don't they don't believe that things are going to go bad all the time. No, there is right. a power uh, that I believe which is bigger and 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 more powerful than any other on the on on the universe. So I'm I'm a believer. I'm a believer of that. So right. that's why you know it's kind of a, it's kind of keeping me going, and I really want to go. But but sometimes I thought you know, I should really say what exactly is going on and how we really feel in this country.